I'll just go to mobile hotspot and we'll see from there. So, okay. So I'm just, so I want to say hello to everybody who's watching on YouTube. I'm sorry for the delay. There's some technical issues and, but I was able to figure it out hopefully. And I want to welcome Christina who has generously offered herself to volunteer to receive a con family constellation. I have, I'm doing these demonstrations. This is the second one and I'm doing them live. And this is to promote my upcoming Family Constellation online class, which is an eight month intensive class where I teach people how to do this. And um, <clears throat> we're going to do it kind of like a table. Well, we're probably going to do a tabletop constellation. So what that means is that Christine is going to pick objects as representatives and she's going to place them on a table and we're gonna look at it. And what happens in these tabletop constellations is all the information is there. Christina has all the information inside of her. <laughs> <laughs> and we're just bringing it to light and we're looking at it. And all I'm doing is reflecting. And I just wanna say this to anyone who's view watching is that we're not here to fix Christina. We're not here to save Christina. We're really here to hold space and witness you in, you know, having your own epiphanies, having your own, uh, what, how do you say it? You know, the dots lining up for you, like what you, what needs to happen for you, insight. You know how it is, because you worked with me once, I think. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. With the but horses. That's yeah. right. Yeah, you came here with a group and that was really nice of you to bring a group. That was a couple of years ago, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay, so are you ready? I am. Okay. So what's your intention? My intention is to look at um, cancer in my family tree. So my intention is to heal my own cancer and to get insight to my siblings' cancer and anything that ancestors want to want me to know about cancer in our family. Okay. You did mention it, it was your brother? Yes. And you have the same cancer? Well, we both have melanoma. Mine is in my eye and his seems to be throughout the body. And we both got diagnosed with this condition at almost the exact same time. And we're only a year apart. It just seems a little too coincidental that that would happen. And is he older or younger than you? He's a year older than me. Okay. okay. Are you close with him? You know, um, we love each other very much. Um, we live only one state away. We have similar age kids. But to answer your question, I think we're only close in that sort of deep, we're from the same family way, not on a day-to-day -day way. Got it. Like we'd do anything for each other, but do we pick up the phone and check in on each other month to month? No. How did you find out about his cancer? Um, that's a great question, um, because I'll tell you about the relationship. His wife texted me and said, you need to call your brother. And I was like, oh, okay, I'll call him. She's like, no, now. So that's how I found out. Did we freeze a little bit there? Okay. Yeah, I couldn't hear. It was kind of gobbled. Okay. You know what I'm doing? I think I'm going to switch to the hotspot. Okay, sounds good. What do you think? I think so. So yes. will, will that disconnect us? If it does, just jump back on. And, Got it. Um, I don't know. I'm going to see if it allows a little segue. Well, actually, let me hold off. <laughs> If I do, I think it's going to interrupt the YouTube um, live stream. If it does, I'm just going to upload the remaining 
perfect. Okay. Okay, yeah. perfect. And then what I have to do is I have to record as well because I didn't record. <clears throat> Okay. Um, so just to reiterate, okay, um, you, your brother and you have the same cancer. Well, it's melanoma. Yours is in the eye. His is in his whole body. And um, you found out. I that got garbled. I didn't really hear. Oh, okay. Uh, his wife texted me and said I needed to call him. So he didn't actually tell me. It had to go through a third party oh, okay. to, for us to actually connect. Okay, got it. Which I think is important. And did he know about you? He did. And I told him directly. Okay, okay. So it's a bit of a shock for both of you. 100%. We're very healthy, young, you know, go to the regular doctor visit kind of people. Right, right. Okay. And my... um. Uh, cancer is super, super rare. Um, the only reason we found it is my eye doctor had a hunch and sent me to a specialist. He, otherwise, he didn't even see it. Wow. Okay. And this was just recent? Yeah, uh, I had radiation uh, in April. Oh, okay. Yeah, so this is all brand new. Okay. But the, the reason I was so excited about this opportunity to do this work with you um, for lots of reasons, but I always have this joke that I say, I, I really wish I could just take an ax to my family tree. And, you know, from working with you, even that one time with the horses, you really, uh, brought to light for me that I am here because of that family tree. Um, but I still feel like I'd like to take an ax to quite a lot of it. So now that we're both sitting with a uh, life-threatening illness, I think this work is apropos. Right. Okay. I actually want to do, did I do this meditation with the group where we put the ancestors behind us? I don't remember if you did. It doesn't come up. Okay. I want to do this with you because I okay. feel it like, uh, based on what you just said. And this is like a, a little visualization. It doesn't take too long. And this is also for anyone else who wants to do this. It's an excellent exercise. But Christina, I just want you to imagine that your mother and father are behind you. And if you want to close your eyes, it's fine. Your mother is standing behind your left shoulder and your father is behind your right shoulder. Do you have a, a sense of them there? And I, I see a little tenseness in your body. <laughs> you did? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, if they were literally here, I, I would be like this. <laughs> okay. So, so try to go back into the visualization and tell me what the expression is with your father and where is he looking? Oh, just like eyes just peering into me. Into Laser focused. Very intrusive. Into or, your head? Yes. Back okay. back of the neck, yep. Okay. And uh, what's his posture? Is he standing? Is he sitting? Is he... They're both standing. Okay. And um, what's he doing with his hands? They're at his side. He wants to touch me, and I don't want that okay 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 and now your mother who's on your behind your left shoulder what's her it wants time? very much to come right up <laughs> to the same plane she not doesn't want to be behind she doesn't want to be behind you uh, she wants to be right in the same plane as my in interesting yeah do you want her there? No. She can be behind. Okay. Yeah. And um, what's her expression like? Again, like all this energy toward me. Very um, kind of desperate feeling. Very desperate. want to hug. They both want, to, it's like they both want to put all this energy and hands on me. 
How's that feel to you? Not good. I just had to take a deep breath. So it's like, get off me. Yeah. Just say even that. just energetically, it's so intense. Okay. Are they still alive? My mom's passed. My dad's still alive. Okay. 